So I spend a lot of time outdoors in the bush, a lot of time in remote places. And I'm now a believer that uh, snow machines should have a voltmeter on them. So I installed one, picked it up at Amazon. Two of these voltmeters were, were uh, $17, so about $8 each. I'll start the machine and you can see how the voltmeter works. So for eight dollars uh, it's good insurance and I'll explain <coughs> what happened and how the voltmeter saved me. Um, I was out fishing uh, about four or five days ago and uh, I, I left I was leaving to come home. I had about eight or 10 miles to come home. So I would have made it with the battery. But when I started the machine, uh, the voltmeter showed uh, 12 and then 11.9, then 11.8. It was dropping. <clears throat> so I knew I had no charging. And if your battery goes dead on almost any new sled, no matter what make it is, uh, and you have no charging, uh, the, the, the engine is going to stop when the voltage reaches that threshold that it can't run anymore and you're not going anywhere. So I decided uh, to put the voltmeter in. Uh, the day after I found out, uh, my plans were that the next day I was heading up north and I definitely would have killed the battery and I would have been stranded probably 10 or 15 miles from my truck if I had not seen the voltage dropping the day before and suspected or knew there was a problem. So <clears throat> I installed it a little more complex in a Mac method, but simple method would be uh, most machines have a lighter plug. This is the lighter plug. Uh, on the Yamaha, the lighter plug is only active when the engine is running. So you want to be careful if you hook up a voltmeter that it's not sitting there drawing current all the time, on all the time. It needs to be off when the machine is off. So the lighter socket is already switched. This is the pigtail off the lighter socket. You could just tie into the plus minus and there you go, you've got your voltmeter. I decided because I was having some charging issues that I wanted my voltmeter tied directly to the battery, not into any other wiring. Uh, the voltmeter or, or the lighter socket runs about 0.4 volts lower than the battery uh, because of where it's tied to in the wiring as there's draws and voltage drops. So I put in a relay and the relay is, the coil in the relay is activated by the lighter socket, which then connects the voltmeter directly through this new wire I ran to the battery through a fuse. Gives me the exact battery voltage reading so I know what it's charging at. In any case, it's a very simple, very inexpensive uh, item to have. You can buy voltmeters that plug into lighter sockets uh, and you know you can use it to monitor what your voltage is. I wanted something that was permanent and always there and I wasn't going to have to start guessing. But when I saw uh, what would have happened if I did not see the voltage dropping, the machine runs perfectly. It's just you have no charging. So I would have left the next morning and uh, <laughs> I would have been, you know, 10 or 15 miles in and not coming back. I have placed a, an, a clamp on current meter on my battery cables when it's running and it appears, because the headlights are always on, you can't turn them off, and then the other electronics running on the engine, etc., handlebar heaters, whatever, it's drawing about uh, nine amps out of my battery. So you're not gonna last very long if you don't have an alternator and you're drawing nine amps out of the battery, that voltage will drop fairly quickly and then shut you down. Anyway, I think it's pretty important if you're out in places that are remote, it's really nice to know, having seen that, if the meter was not on this machine, I would have been stranded the day after.